It is freezing outside. 50 degrees. It's August. What's going on? I'm okay with it. But I didn't expect sock hat time yet this year. I had an interesting email from Lewitt. I've never tried a Lewitt microphone. They noticed I've been doing a lot of microphone videos, and if I'm being totally honest, I like nerding out about that stuff. So they asked me if they could send me a microphone for me to try. So what I asked for was something like a flagship, and then basically the bottom of the line. I wanna see the spectrum of what they offer. And boy, did I learn a lot. But right off the bat, Lewitt sent me these. No money exchanged hands, they're not paying for anything. I just get these to play with and see what I think. There's not even a stipulation of making a video, but I learned some interesting things, so I would like to. And let's talk about it. Over here, the big boy. This is the Lewitt Pure Tube. It's not quite their flagship. It's more of a stripped down version of their flagship. You're not gonna get nearly as many options on this. It's basically in the realm of beverages. It's, <laughs> I don't know how to do it with beverages without sounding like an insult, but it's like a water. I feel like tube condensers, you're reaching for them based on vibe or attitude. This offers something different in that world. It's $12.99. Not the most expensive tube condenser you're gonna see, not the cheapest tube condenser you're gonna see. Some of my favorite tube condensers, the MA300s, your 017s, the MCTEC CV4, this thing is different. It's very stripped down. It comes with a ridiculously heavy case that they send it in, which you're gonna get everything. Even the shock mount of this thing is impressive. First, you get a pop filter, which actually works like a pop filter. Not as much as I could say for this thing over here, but still works like a pop filter really effectively. But the way you put this thing into its shock mount, it's, it's that easy. It's really cool. And the build quality over here is insane. <laughs> it feels really good, it feels solid, and hey, it's matte black. It speaks to my soul. And of course, a little gimmicky, but you get a little window seeing into the tube and it glows and it's really cool and the clients tend to like that. A Little bit of perceived value there, but still, $12.99, it's not imparting attitude. This is the cleanest tube condenser I think I've ever used, ever. In that said, when I'm reaching for my 017, it's because I want that vibe. I want that thing that it does. This is transparency exercised in a microphone. <laughs> you get the extended top thing that you would get in a tube condenser, but it is clean. And the other thing about this is normally with a tube condenser, you have like a certain level of self noise that you just come to expect because it's a tube, you have a tube and a microphone. There's gonna be a little bit of noise. 90% of the time, that's never an issue and you're never gonna notice it. This thing's self noise is so low, like almost a third of what my other mics would be. I think this is around seven dBA. I will correct that if I'm wrong. Let me go check actually. Yeah, yep, yep, I was right, I was right, I was right. 7 dBA self noise, 7 dB self noise. That is really, really low. Normally around a tube condenser, you're gonna see things like 20, maybe even 35 dB, depending on that condenser. Again, it's not really an issue because that level to the source, you're never really gonna notice it. But this, ridiculously low ridiculously clean, speaks to the character of this microphone. You are locked into one cardioid polar pattern. On the power supply, you just have an on and off switch. There's no selector there that you could get anything else. That's fine. Normally what I would use this for would be a cardioid. Maybe Omni if I was getting picky and I wanted to use it in a drum room. But still, the value here for $12.99 for what you're getting, pretty stoked. This guy, the 440, wasn't totally sure how to approach this thing. And again, you get the magnetic pop filter, which is pretty cool at 289. And it's gonna stay on there. I could probably shake it off. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> if you do that on a stand though, your stand's probably broken. For all intents and purposes, that's gonna stay on. I will say in practice, this wasn't enough. It was for a couple of the artists that I put it on, but this pop filter does not equal that pop filter. It does not equal a normal pop filter. This will kind of mitigate a little bit of that, but you're definitely gonna notice plosives because it's not meaty enough. I would definitely use a pop filter with this. That said, this mic was astounding. It didn't win any of the lineups. And I should say, 
what I did was I had three different artists, jazz, pop, and hip hop. I wanted to try a bunch of different microphones in a bunch of different ways with different people, different voices, looking for different things, responding to mics in a different way. And it was very interesting to see the differences and nuances and how not only what I would notice out of this because they were all in the same preamps, gain staged the same way as close as I possibly could. No test is perfect. But what that yielded was being able to see how each individual artist reacted to each individual microphone. And there's a lot. We had a lineup of, I think, nine microphones, these being two of them. So there's more of these videos coming. And in each case, just like this one, no money exchanged hands. So we're just nerding out for the sake of nerding out here. So like and subscribe if you're interested to see more of that stuff. But. Lewitt. I had never tried Lewitt microphones. In the lineup of these nine microphones, none of the artists chose this one as their favorite. I wouldn't expect them to. This is a $289 microphone, and I believe in the lineup, we went up to almost $5,000 in that lineup. It did not win. But each of those three artists had decided they were gonna buy one of these. The 440 Pure, because it sounded that good. And whether they're recording at home or making demos, it was awesome. But in a studio context where we could pick whatever was right for their voice and right for that song, it didn't win every shootout, but still, it was stupid impressive. Now, you're gonna get a whole lot more proximity effect over here with the 440 Pure. This one is cardioid. This one is pressure gradient. It's gonna respond a little differently to how close you were to it. That said, we tried to be very consistent with these artists and how close or far they were from each of these capsules. Obviously, that will change the sound, how much low end is produced, how much plosive nature we're getting from the microphone itself but tried to keep that as consistent as possible. So with the jazz singer, you'll notice between these two mics, this was the first take she did with the piano and then we kept the piano take. So in the 440 take, you can hear her fingers on the keys. But if you ignore that, here's what that sounds like. That nobody was listening. Listening to everything, thought I lost control. It's just an illusion Or just a mystery We've got to see eye to eye somehow I'm only here because of what you've made me That nobody was listening Listening to everything Thought I lost control Maybe it's just an illusion Or just a mystery We've got to see eye to eye somehow because of what you made me. Now again, you could almost buy six of these guys for one of this. It sounded good. And I think I'm gonna put a video out once I'm through with all of these microphones, with all of the artists talking about what their favorite choice was or what they noticed, what they felt. Because I think that's just as important, if not more important than the sound. Because there's a lot I can do. If we're splitting hairs on top end or bottom end here, I can push stuff like that around in an EQ. I can compress it a certain way. I can pull sonics out. But if they feel good on a microphone, their performance is gonna be that much better. So I I would rather have a killer performance. I don't care what the mic is. That said, the jazz singer did not like this microphone. I think her words were, it wasn't reacting to what she was doing very fast. In the jazz one, I would pick the tube condenser. There's more information there for me to work with. She seemed to be more comfortable, but still, 289. It'll get the job done. Pop. Pop was a super interesting one because you want that forward aggression, right? And this isn't really fair here because this is a very clean microphone. And I'm probably gonna be biased because I know the price differential here. I wish I knew how to love. I wish I knew you weren't that nice. I wish I knew how to move on. Like a man. 
misuse I did it to myself though. I did it to myself though. I wish I knew how to love I wish I knew you weren't that nice I wish I knew how to move on I did it to myself though. I did it to myself though. This one, the artist didn't really care about the difference. She liked this one a lot, but she also decided she was gonna purchase this one. So again, in the studio, we went with different microphones. This didn't win in a studio context where you have more resources available, but at home, songwriting, getting ideas out, maybe mixing and mastering her own stuff, she's gonna go purchase this microphone. I think that says a lot. And I think you can hear from those pop examples, I could pick either one and make it work. I would lean towards the tube because I feel like the top end is a little smoother, but I could do with the grit in the top end that this has. There's a certain thing with like FET condensers that just works at pop, that it kinda has that finished gritty thing. In cheaper condensers, you can get away with that a whole lot easier, I think. And this one just works. With the rap one, at the end of it, the rapper came back and said there's no difference. I can tell you during the process of doing it, he was not inspired by this one in the same way he was inspired by the other ones. But again, 289, 12.99, went up to 5K in the whole lineup. Yeah, devil on my shoulder, but I'm blessed. God knows I'ma cherish every moment we get next. See, when you feed your mind, you gotta watch what you digest. Cause when you doing good, it's so easy to digress. I see my neighbors laughing when my car got repossessed. But that just hurt my ego, I got no one to impress. I read the four agreements and the fourth is try your best. Now this come up got so personal that I ain't getting rest. I done judge my soul so long, I'm tired of regrets. Voices in my head saying stuff I can't accept. When you your biggest threat, tell me what can you expect? It's people I affect, so I got something to protect. Yeah, devil on my shoulder, but I'm blessed. God knows I'ma cherish every moment we get next. So when you feed your mind, you gotta watch what you digest. Cause when you doing good, it's so easy to digress. I see my neighbors laughing when my car got repossessed. But that just hurt my ego, I got no one to impress. I read the four agreements and the fourth is try your best. Now this come up got so personal that I ain't getting rest. I done judged myself so long, I'm tired of regrets. Voices in my head saying stuff I can't accept. When you your biggest threat, tell me what can you expect? It's people I affect, so I got something to protect. Don't tell a big dream to a mind that can't connect. Cause if you come at all, then you better come correct. Not living by my flesh, I feel the spirit in my breath. I made my own problems, I don't act like this a test. Ultimately, he got better performances out of different microphones. I think his performance on this one was better. I think once I told him the prices of everything, is there enough of a difference in that context? For him, no. And he, again, might go buy one for himself. For me, I like the tube one on the wrap. There's a certain level of intimacy in that top end that I think translates from like consonant sounds and, and the more sensitive nature of what's happening over here. That said, I could make either one of them work. So what's going on here? Who are these for? I think there's a different approach you can take with either one of these. If you're a singer or songwriter or you have a home studio and you're trying to do stuff as cheap as possible, good Lord, this is a killer purchase. $289, seriously, I, I was shocked. And the lineup it was in, it was not supposed to win. It was supposed to be like a meme and it held its own surprisingly. Again, didn't win a single one of them. It's not something I would pick out of that whole lineup, but for a singer songwriter at home, you wanna get demos done, it's small. I'm gonna take this with me. This is my run and gun condenser now. This is going with me just about everywhere for songwriting purposes. This one, I couldn't really say the same thing. <laughs> I love Love it. It works really well at a studio setting, but I'm not gonna take this on the road. It sounds great. I prefer the sound of this, again, but there is a certain amount of, like, what context are you using this in? If you're worried about somebody taking it, if you're worried about losing it, being on the road, I'm gonna be in an RV for a couple weeks in places that I'm not super familiar with, and I'm gonna take this one with me. It's small, it packs down, it sounds stupid good. 
<laughs> I think in the realm that this sits, there's only one mic that beats it as far as self noise and SPL goes, and that's the Rode NT1, which I don't really care for the sound of that microphone. I thought this was way more flexible. And again, this is not sponsored. No money changed hands. I don't have to say anything. I don't have a relationship with Lewitt or Rode. <laughs> For the first time getting to try Lewitt mics, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, I really like the matte black look. The green is cool, albeit I kind of thought what was happening here was a little gimmicky right off the bat, but man. They definitely made a believer out of me. I can find uses for these all day long. And this one may top my sheep microphone king of all time. <laughs> Not that that was a race I was trying to find a winner for, but I think now that may be something that I try to figure out. And as of right now, I cannot think of anything that beats it in the same price bracket. Anyway guys, if you like videos like this and you like going down these kind of nerdy experimental ways, there's a lot more of this coming for different microphones. So subscribe if you don't want to miss any of that. Hit the like button. I'm Resident Loser Jeremy, and I'll see you in the next one.